Hi friends, I want to share something with you. Our classes in English literature at Trivandrum are undergoing a huge change. To enhance the efficacy of my lectures, we have introduced an induction program. This means that before you attend classroom lectures in Trivandrum, you will take from home a rigorous and highly individualized course in reading and academic writing. You will use totally revised test notes, video lectures and activities. Check out our Facebook page and website for details. something on Monica Ali. Uh, she is a Bangladeshi born and British writer and novelist and uh, she uh, born in 1967 in Dhaka in Bangladesh and uh, after soon after her birth, after 3-4 years I suppose uh, her family moved to uh, England. Experience of dislocation or this migratory experience uh, catches uh, the theme of Bricklain. Monica Ali's uh, debut work is Bricklain that came out in 2003, and her other works are Alenjo Blue, Untold Story, and In the Kitchen. These are also her other novels. street or location uh, in London where most of the Bangladeshi people, immigrant Bangladeshi people, they reside uh, and they form a community. Brick Lane is a street in the east end of London where the Bangladeshi community lives. Since the late 19th century, the term East End has become synonymous with poverty, overcrowding, disease and criminality. In the novel, the setting represents the frustration, discontent, and disillusion in the minds of the characters. Well, it's a story of a young, of a girl, Nazneen. Uh, at the age of 18, she uh, gets married to a man twice of her age, and uh, after, soon after marriage, the man Shannu he takes her to London and then start to live there. Like since beginning, uh, we can see in the novel that Monica uh, this Nazdin wants to come back to home. Home that means Bangladesh. Nazneen is an immature girl when she arrives in London as a bride for Shannu, a man twice her age. Ali's prose style until this point is rather naive. But as Nazneen struggles to make a life for herself, within her traditional marriage in the East End immigrant community, Ali's prose grows with her, gaining in depth and complexity. My husband is like a bossy kind of husband. He always plans to do the something or other, but he never acts accordingly. Shannu is presented with a deft comic touch, with his huge belly, his useless certificates, his crumpled trousers, his deluded ambitions, and the corns on his feet that Nazneen has to scrape away every night. But Shannu is also tragically aware of his own shortcomings and of the way his dreams have been thwarted.
the novel also shows us that uh, Nazneen uh, is you know coming to know about experiences of other people in her community those who live in Brooklyn and uh, shares their experiences and also learns about her, their struggles to live in an altogether new setting <coughs> and new location when uh, their first child is born the son uh, they also plan to come back to go back to land uh, home but uh, they could they can never raise that much of money that is needed to go back to home uh, as every bangladeshi plans to go back but they could never raise the money so uh, these are the conditions and then at the time they also wanted to go because um, bangla bangali youth those who were living in london they were turning to alcohol and drugs so that was also re reason that they want to go back but they couldn't uh, she was very much in contact with her sister hasina and uh, though both the sister though they were at some different locations they keep on sharing their thoughts and their experiences through letters and both of them have a uh, have a common kind of lesson which they try to follow but they could never follow uh, the lesson was given by their mother at the death bed that you should not fight against your fate uh, but both of them we can see further in the when the story develops they try to fight against the fate ultimately they accept that whatever they have done maybe it is uh, you know it was their fate they were destined to do this throughout the novel the trials of nazneen's life in brick lane are cut through by letters from home from her sister hasina who made a love match and who was then forced to leave her violent husband and try to survive on her own as a factory worker a prostitute and a maid and nazneen also comes to know about hasina through her letters that uh... she because of this political upheaval and all the disturbance she you know runs off from her first husband and for some time she was was there's a cook somewhere then she um, like uh, tried to make some handicraft and try to live life uh, through that and then also she also worked like a prostitute also for some time and ultimately she gets married to one of her clients so all these um, uh, stories about hasina they both Uh, the both the sisters though they were apart they were much connected well without condemning western culture as self indulgent ali suggests that the traumas of her sister in bangladesh are so much starker than nazneen's choices that determine hasina's survival as well as her happiness and nazneen also like she also shares her life in london uh, that she uh, she has two daughters now and she is now more determined to leave london because uh, of this drug problem and her youth are falling uh, in this kind of addiction and so uh, meanwhile uh, there is one character mrs islam who offers her for some sewing work to nazneen she offers some sewing work and nazneen like brings her work to home and she starts Uh, this kind of work swing and there is one uh, boy karim who is also from the same community uh, and he comes and he helps uh, nazneen in this swing work so she discovers that she has attraction uh, towards situation towards karim and she uh, she is in love with karim as a good bengali wife nazneen does not enter easily into her romantic adventure and karim a young muslim who wants to radicalize the local community has deeply held beliefs against moral corruption but as karim comes to nazneen's house day after day bringing her sewing work ali shows how the physical attraction that explodes between them destroys their moral expectations then we come to know in the novel that the because of that attack in america 
again muslim community is in is under suspicion uh, by the rest of the rest of the world and that's why uh, within the community uh, they the the form a group and they, they all it law and heart so against that karim forms his own group and calls his bengal tigers and he was actually anti uh, to the previous group and he wanted to defend his own religion the novel gives impressive descriptions of the meetings of the bengal tigers here girls in head scarves and boys in nike fleeces argue about whether they should engage with global jihad or local injustices as she sits in those meetings nazneen at first burns with silent admiration for karim and his certainty about his place in life the infatuation however is short lived gradually nazneen comes to realize that her lover's dreams of islamic renaissance may turn out to be as flimsy as Chanu's dreams of cultural integration. And so, she begins to grow beyond her first love. With that also, Nazdeen was not so happy and she gets disappointed with that. And between many other family responsibilities to balance her life and the needs of family, better to live here i mean to secure the family and then what's happening with her husband these days yeah her husband also earlier because he was less responsible now he also he was also turning and taking responsibilities okay and then there is one friend of them doctor he gave them some money because earlier they never had that much of money to go back to their motherland so he gave them some money and says you can go so shannu her husband he plans and all set to go back yeah that time nazin refuses to go back also she ended the this relationship with karim aha uh -huh. because she find this is un, not meaningful so she ended this relationship and then the novel ends with the, telling us that Nazneen has opened her own little internship and entrepreneurship she has started uh, with the sewing business and she has involved some other women also and they are living their life in London. So the the story is like that the notion of home is captured here the immigrant experience where you always uh, you know always want to go back the nostalgia previously it haunts you and ultimately but the growth of the character is shown the psychological growth also is shown where previously nazneen was you know totally engaged in housekeeping and caring for husband and bearing and you know bringing children but now later on with her own experiences she gets transformed and she starts to question on her own fate and on her she is both emotionally and financially independent mm -hmm. because uh, emotional independence is shown by her mm -hmm. uh, re rejection of rejection. relationship with karin we can see like how she develops herself and adapted herself to the new realities and new conditions uh, previously her english was just nothing uh, she was knowing only one or two words to communicate with the people only thank you and sorry but later on she developed like we uh, see in the movie recently the one movie came english english so we can see how a person uh, uh, from a non english community goes to you know some european country and the way she feels a kind of humiliation and then struggles to learn the language because language is the first medium to communicate and explain express yourself so that kind of development also we can see in her characters so the novel explores uh, her life and her adaptation uh, adaptation in the new community Next one important novel, uh, which was published in 2009, that is uh, in the kitchen. 
This novel is telling us about the immigrants' problem as well as the youth's problem. Uh, which people or which youths are going to the big cities or big countries uh, to do their career. But after going there, they are using sometimes wrong means. And due to their wrong means, problems are taking place. These problems are discussed in this novel, In the Kitchen. There is one worker who is doing working as a cook in the kitchen room of one hotel. That hotel is their Mac Caddily Hotel in London. And in this hotel, uh, he is doing work as a cook. Gabrielle's kitchen is a microcosm of immigrant London. Every corner of the earth was represented here. And uh, one day suddenly uh, people are uh, going to the kitchen room because they seen that there is one dead body. Lena, the former lover of the dead worker, becomes Gabrielle's passport to the underground economy a shadowy world of illegal immigration schemes, slave labor, and forced prostitution. This is the new Britain. Uh, through this novel, she has to show the workers' condition, immigrants' problem. These are the important points that she has handled in this novel. In the? In the, in the kitchen, 2009. This was also shortlisted for the Booker Prize. But it...